G-Man Boxing. Do you know what I mean? Every single live he donates. I see him on other lives donating, donating, donating. He's got the bag on it. All right, people. Tyson Fury, Dillian White news coming in in the last hour. Purse bids took place today. Frank Warren and Queensbury promotions. Not the person I expected to win these purse bids. I'm going to have to say I didn't expect this, but he has won the purse bid. He's bid a massive bid of $41 million in dollars here. Eddie Hearn's bid is reported to be $32 million, so Frank Warren has won this. The BBC ruling in an 80-20 split means Fury will receive $32.8 million and White will receive a career high, because this is a career high, $8.2 million for his WBC title fight. It's being reportedly targeted for April to take place in the Principality Stadium in Cardiff. I would imagine um, probably the dates they're looking for, Old Trafford maybe because United played their home games there, maybe there was something on, but the Principality Stadium in Cardiff um is is a massive it's bigger than old trafford isn't it, it is. it's bigger than old trafford i think it is anyway in terms of capacity um it definitely is so that's where they're looking that's a good little stadium as well um the aj fights there look quite good so looks like we're getting this fight next um regards dylan white part of me does feel as though it, he's really kind of how do i say it it's almost like he's kind of has to take he's it's gone too far for him not to take this fight if you know what i mean so career high payday for him in terms of the fight here's the thing right i wasn't expecting i was expecting this between to be between the zone eddie hearn which it was and bob arum and espn frank warren although he's a co-promoter of fury he's really taken a back step in recent times he really has. And with the way Queensbury have been financially over the last few years, anyone can check it. You know, they've not made a profit in God knows how long. The quality of their shows has been very poor over the years. It's dropped dramatically over the years, the quality of the shows. Frank hasn't been signed as many fighters as he used to. I mean, cast your minds back 2017 when BT Sports started with Frank Warren and they had that round table where you had Carl Frampton, Tyson Fury, Billy Joe Saunders, Daniel Dubois, Anthony Yard, Josh Warrington. Who else did he have? He's someone else as well. I just name escapes me, but he had all them fires at one stage. Yard and Dubois are still there. Fury is there, but with Bob Arum, the rest are gone. The rest have gone their separate ways. Either that or retired. Now here, here's a little theory I have, right? And it is a theory, but hear me out, because sometimes you need to look for these little things. And I like to, I, I think a lot, and I'm always thinking about it in every aspect. Here's my theory, right? I'm wondering, did maybe MTK have a helping hand? And maybe did Bob Arum have a helping hand in helping Frank Warren raise the money? And I'll tell you why. Because it's very much in Bob Arum's interest for Frank to promote this fight as opposed to him. Why is that? Because Tyson Fury has one fight left on his current top rank contract. Well, this won't be promoted by top rank. I'm sure Bob Arum will be there to support his fighter. But in terms of the promoting, this is a Queensbury promotion. Frank Warren has won the purse bid. It's with Queensbury. So does that mean that the contract between Top Rank and Fury rolls over? So therefore, if Tyson Fury and Bob Arum had won the purse bid, Fury had fought and he beats Dylan White, Fury is then entitled to say, well, the contract's up so I can go my separate ways. I can have an undisputed fight with Alexander Usyk or the Anthony Joshua winner. Um, and then, you know, it could be with, you know, I could be a free agent. I could give it to Frank. You know, that sort of way. Whereas this way... If, and it isn't if, because there's no foregone conclusion Tyson Fury beats Dylan White. I'll talk about that now in a sec. But that means then, if Fury gets through Dylan White, his next fight, I would hope would be for Undisputed, because there's his mandatory out of the way. AJ Usek, you know, whenever that happens, um, you know, God knows at this stage. Then, then, Fury can fight for Undisputed against whoever comes through that, if he gets through Dylan White. Bob Arum and Top Rank are part of that now. That's the last fight on his contract. If he wins, he'll probably retire. But there you go. I wonder if that's something Bob Arum is doing. Because when, it, when when they said Frank Warren at such an amount, I'm like, how does he even have that much money knocking around? Jesus. Um, and I do wonder if MTK maybe helped out a little bit as well with the purse bid. Because this is be on BT Sport pay-per-view. Of course, be on pay-per-view. Oh, definitely. Definitely on pay-per-view. Um, it is a good fight. Fury back in the UK. 
you know, against Dylan White. And like again, it makes no sense to do this fight in the States. It just doesn't. Like, why in God's name would you do it in the States when both guys are so well known in the UK? I mean, Tyson Fury, he's a bit more well known in the States since the WWE stuff and the Deontay Wilder stuff. But Wilder is is, is known well enough in the States. Dylan White, who the hell, no one knows who he is in the States. So probably wouldn't do as well over there. Whereas in the UK, they will flock to Cardiff and the Principality Stadium to watch this fight. They will. In terms of who I think will win, I've got Fury winning the fight uh, by late stoppage. Personally, I think that's what will happen. I do see this as being a little bit tougher for Tyson Fury, especially if his legs are not what we think they are. Um, although he has been teasing in his last few um, training montages that you know he's trying to get a little bit lighter. So potentially he could be. I wouldn't be surprised to see him maybe in the two. I don't think we'll ever see him in the two fifties. Um, healthily anyway but maybe he'll be in the, the high 260s mid 260s for this fight so maybe he'll be looking for a bit of more mobility but um, look I want to see Undisputed I do that's my goal I would love to see Undisputed heavyweight champion I don't dislike this fight I think it's a fun fight um, and I can see drama in this fight don't be surprised if Fury ends up on the canvas I'm not saying, he, I'm not saying he's going to lose I'm not picking him to lose but I don't expect it to be a walk in the park as some people do for Tyson Fury I think Dylan White's going to be game he knows that this is his opportunity. At the end of the day, like we, we got to think of it in hindsight. Dylan White really will need to put Fury down, I reckon, to win. He'll need to still need to knock Fury out, or at least drop him a couple of times, because Dylan White will be fighting on BT Sport, so he won't be on the zone. He will be. He has upset Solomon and the WBC. Let's not beat around the bush. He definitely has. So they're not going to do him any favors. So Dylan White's going to be an uphill battle to win this fight. Definitely, but um, we're making some progress finally, and uh, it's just I, I, they were talking about the twenty sixth of March. I knew that wasn't going to happen. It was we're getting too close to that. So April, we'll wait and see. I suspect April or May will be AJ Usyk. Probably May. They would probably. I reckon more so May. They'll have that fight done. Just because you know you're set with time and AJ looking for a new trainer and stuff. But yeah, Warren wins a purse bit. And a massive purse bid against Eddie Hearn. So Fury, Dillian White will be on BT Sports if and when it takes place. We just need an announcement now. So, yep. News as always with this fight. And you know the thing, right? I was going to record this evening. And I actually forgot for most of the day that this was actually happening today. It was only when kind of the end of the day it reminded me. I was like, oh yeah, this is on. Because I was actually going to do my prediction and preview for uh, Eubank versus Williams. I'll probably do that and get that out tomorrow instead. But um, I was thinking, so nice. I won't be talking about Fury uh, White or Fury um, Usek or AJ Usek. It'd be a different thing altogether. And then this happens. So I was like, right. Well, of course i got to talk about it. For now, lads and lasties, I'll leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could, smash the like button to help your boy out. Leave a little uh, look on screen there. I ended. I said, why not? I ended up reactivating the old Instagram account. So it's, at, it's Boxing G, man. I think 93. So there it is there on screen. Anyone want to go over, give it a little follow. For now, I'll talk to you people. Peace.